Good news, everyone. Another male feminist gets his. Neil Gaiman, the male feminist, has been accused of sexual assault. All you male feminist scumbags get yours eventually, right? Now, here he is, Neil Gaiman. He has often identified as a feminist has a written about themes related to gender, power, and social justice. In other words, man hate, right? <clears throat> He's demonized the male sex. And now it's his turn, right? Now, you can see here's a, a female feminist and her male boot lackey. They're going to talk about how they're going to try and hunt him down, right? Let's hear this. This story is about one of the most difficult to report and yet one of the most common forms of abuse of power. Allegations. There you go. It's so difficult to report, right? Oh, by the way, before we go to rem remember everyone, I have this video called Women's Lies Harm Men, right? Where this woman just turned out to be a false accuser for no other reason that she felt like it. And this is standard. You can find this constantly throughout news uh, outlets, right? So remember, this is common practice. ...of sexual assault within an otherwise consensual relationship. In okay, so it's a consensual relationship. And these women, of course, decide to turn on you. You know why? Because they were banging this guy they were young girls, right? They didn't they didn't want anything to do with guys their own age. They went for the high status older man, right? That's what happened. And since they weren't going to get anything out of him, in other words, he wasn't going to marry them, that's when they turned on him, right? In this case, two women's allegations against the author, Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman has been called the most loved living writer. He's also one of the world's most successful writers. His books, Coraline, American Gods, Good Omens, The Sandman, sell millions of copies worldwide. His writing- That just makes him a ripe for the pickings. Women love destroying a man's career. They love a man reaching to the peak of Everest before they boot him off and get a kick out of him screaming and falling to the bottom is adapted for Netflix and Amazon miniseries, Hollywood films and West End shows. We set out to hear every side of this story, so threaded throughout this podcast, you will hear Neil Gaiman's position, and it's a denial of any non-consensual sex with the women. Well, dude, that's, every guy says that. Dude, Neil Gaiman, where are you? Every one of uh, your uh, victims male victims of the past said the exact same thing that you say. It's believe all women. It's too late for that, dude. You're a male feminist. Do you not believe in the words that you say? You supported believe all women, in other words, attack all men, for years. So why are you fighting back? Just lay down and be sacrificed like you deserve, you scumbag. we've spoken to and of any unlawful behavior we've also spoken to two women friends one a former lover who had nothing but positive things to say about him this so what so what <laughs> they had nothing but positive things to say about him. yeah all these male accusers these famous guys they all have fans that's, you know, say, oh, I, I, he, I'm still getting something out of my association with this man. So I'm going to support him, right? They all do it. Doesn't matter. This asshole is going down. I hope he does. Because he's a male feminist and he supported this kind of injustice to other men for ages. We examined the women's allegations over many months. We interviewed and re-interviewed them. Really? So they're going to get both sides, eh? Right. Spoke to others, combed through emails and messages. This is a manhunt, right? 
If they were just getting both sides, they would just ask the women who accused them. But they're combing through emails, messages. They're they're trying to get multiple women, right? They're searching for other people to accuse him. Reviewed photos and other documents. These two women have never met or spoken. They're separated by decades and continents. Yet their allegations are materially similar. See, this is their argument, right? Sorry, where's, where's mine again? I got to bring that back up. <laughs> I got to bring up my, my channel again. Oh, shoot. Anyway, the point is false allegations are standard, everyone. They're standard. <laughs> where's my video again? Here it is. Yeah. See this? This is this is happening everywhere. You can find video after video of this happening, right? So is it that these women they they have to be telling the truth because there's nothing in common with them? Or is it the fact that there's everything in common with them? These are women and then this is what they have to, this is their behavior. They attack men willy-nilly, right? Neil Gaiman's position is that there is no similarity between their allegations, which are denied, and that all sexual activity with the women was consensual. In October last year, I got an Instagram message from a young New Zealander called Scarlett. Where... They're finding another one, dude. They're searching them out. They're, it's, a, it's a dog wish though. Right. One woman has finally turned on this man. So that's the gate opening up. You know, the dogs are being released to catch the fox. By using her first name only to protect her identity. Shut up. Why would you do that? Right. This is again, men deserve to hear their accusers. Right. But they're always getting these women to accuse men and then hiding their identities. Right, so injustice against men. There was no hint there of the bombshell email that arrived a week later. An email in which she alleged that a famous British author repeatedly sexually assaulted her. Yeah, but that's not proof, jackass, is it? Why aren't you showing it? Right? Because it's just another accusation. And we've seen this happen often enough. We know the formula, the song and dance. We know what happens. The Some woman bangs some guy of high status. She's not going to get anything out of him. So for shits and giggles, she accuses him. And then all these other liars come out of the woodwork. I teamed up with Paul and we spent months testing her allegations, speaking. Hey, Paul, your turn will come eventually, too. Because you're just another Neil Gaiman in the end. <laughs> uh, sans the talent. To whomever we could, and reading through piles of material, a reporting project that took us through Neil Gaiman's Scientology upbringing, his start in comic books. Okay, so now they're going to uh, smear him with the old Scientology, right? And ultimately, to another woman with allegations of sexual assault against him. You can listen to all four episodes. <laughs> all four episodes of our witch hunt. Right. Right. <laughs> now, even the people who suggest that they're on their side aren't. Here's this guy, words of something. I don't even care what his name is. Just, I'm going to just play the start of it, right? Is it true that those that preach the loudest often have the most to hide? Well, I guess in the case of Neil Gaiman, we are about to find out. Welcome back. Those who preach the hardest have the most to hide, right? So he gets his, the framing wrong. It's not that Neil Gaiman is a scumbag feminist that turned on other men, right? It's because he was the sexual assaulter, right? So this guy, where are you here? You're doing exactly the same thing, dude. You're part of this manhunt, this witch hunt, right? And this guy, whoever his name is, words of whatever, 
He's, he's just an example of the average guy. There's no one on men's side. They're either scumbag feminists like Neil Gaiman, who turn on their fellow man until it's their turn, right? Or they're losers like these that are also manhunting, but want to pretend that they're on men's side, right? Anyway, Neil, you're getting yours, and it looks so good on you. I hope this happens to every male feminist out there. Thank you, everyone.